Good morning, musical friends. It's so good to see you. I have one question for you. Are you ready to rock? Yes? All right, let's grab um, drums, shakers, cymbals, tambourines, xylophones, ukuleles, guitars, whatever you've got. And we're gonna, we're gonna play along. And you guys can um, sing along with me once you know the song. It's pretty easy. Um, so you're just going to shake to the beat or tap to the beat. Okay. Here we go. A one, two, a one, two, ready, go. Are you ready to rock this? It's as easy as one, two, three. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's try that again. Are you ready to rock this morning? Are you ready to rock with me? Are you ready to rock this morning? It's as easy as one, two, three. Now play. to move on. Our theme today is pizza. How many of you like pizza? Yeah? Uh, there are all different ways to have pizza and that's why I love pizza because it's so versatile. You could have all sorts of things on pizza. In fact, I've had um, oil as my base on pizza instead of tomato sauce. I've had Alfredo sauce. I've had barbecue sauce. I've had pesto all sorts of things that you can use for your sauce and then your toppings are almost endless you know except for things like putting ice cream on your pizza although i have seen some really great dessert pizzas as well dessert pizzas they're so delicious um pizza is one of my favorite foods i don't know about you but uh here is a great song about pizza and uh i just need you to copy after me okay so this pretty much goes um, me first and then you. So it's like a call and answer song. There we go. 
All right, here's called I Am A Pizza. Ready? I am a pizza. I am a pizza. With extra cheese. With extra cheese. From tomatoes. From tomatoes. Sauce is squeezed. Sauce is squeezed. Garlic and mushrooms. Garlic and mushrooms. Uh, each verse always ends the same, so it's got that big. The first one was ready to go, then please take me home. The next one, oh, I don't know. drop on the ground or a piece of pizza oh so sad almost as sad as um ice cream coming out of your cone and falling on the ground right okay good one that's a little bit different version than i know um but you did really well thank you for singing along let's try that one again here we go my turn first ready i am a
ready? Now this is it um, in the oven. So we're going do, 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 sad oh dear all right well I thought we would continue on the pizza theme today <clears throat> and um oh goodness I thought we would make some pizza so um I'm just gonna clear a little bit of space here um so that we can both see what I'm doing here. And we are going to make a rhythm pizza. Okay. I need this computer here. Give me one second. Excellent. Okay. I don't know if I've told you, but my, I've taken over my entire, um, dining room with, uh, music. So, uh, definitely a lot of chords and instruments and all sorts of things here. So, I'm going to bring over, let's just see. So, what you'll need, okay, so you can pause this video. Um, you can use construction paper or you can use just regular white paper like I have. This one is a little bit thicker, but you can just use regular thickness of white paper if that's all you have that's totally fine um you will need probably some pencil crayons okay I've got this big pack here uh or crayons um you will also need scissors so make sure that that's okay to have a pair of scissors and um preferably a pencil although I'm not sure that I have a pencil so I'm just going to use one of my um one of my pencil crayons okay all right so i'm gonna pick out a good color here and you will also need something i'm gonna use my tambourine to make your pizza so it has to be round and it has to fit on the page okay so something like um a bowl maybe um or a small a small plate might work, okay? Um, <clears throat> something like that. You guys will find something. A lid of some kind uh, would be great. So I'm going to actually use my uh, tambourine here. And uh, let me see if I can show you what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use my tambourine. And I'm going to trace a circle onto my piece of paper. Now I have both sheets of paper together. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll eventually cut them together, um, but you could cut them separately. I'm just going to see how it works to cut them together because it takes less time. Um, and I think maybe I will use 
hard to decide because we have these little knobbies here and also these. Maybe this wasn't the best thing to choose, but uh, we will give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around. Oopsies. There we go. I think I got it. Yep, just a couple of little little blips there, but that won't matter because when I cut it out, it won't even be there. So I'm gonna hold both of my sheets of paper together when I cut, okay? And uh, if you need an adult's help, then grab an adult, okay? And I'm gonna just very slowly go all the way around. I like to work slowly when I'm working with scissors because I like to be very close to the line, what I'm doing, um, so that it really does look like the shape that I that I traced out at first. So I like to go pretty slow, although over the years with lots of practice, you get faster and faster at this. Okay, but nice and slow and patient for now. Okay, so we're going all the way around our circle. Hopefully the tambourine was a, a good circular object. Looks like, looks like it was. Let's finish this up here. Almost there. How cool is it that we're making rhythm pizza today? I'm excited. Okay. So, there we go. I have two circles, okay? And the reason I need two circles is because one is gonna be my crust and one is gonna be my um, rhythm toppings, okay? So here we go. Um, I'm gonna need something to color on top of because so I'm just gonna use this um, vocal book, okay? Just because my uh, table has some um, weird little divots in it, which makes it look nice, but not nice for coloring for sure. Okay. And I'm going to pick a color to do my crust. Um, so let's see here. I like a nice light crust. I'm one of those people that really likes, um, I really like to have dough. <laughs> so, um, when I have pizza, I like it on the undercooked side rather than the overcooked side. I don't know about you. But anyway, all you have to do is shade in your crust. Trying not to, whoops. <laughs> Try not to go on my uh, book here, but that's okay. I can get the edges after. So shading it in, making my crust. If you have a brown piece of construction paper, you could probably save this process by just cutting out brown construction paper. In fact, that would have been super smart. Um, let's see, I don't wanna go a different way, so I'm just gonna, uh, maybe I do. Okay, so just filling it all in here. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is certainly not the best. It's just a crust, stark pizza crust. The best place that I've ever had pizza was um, Firehouse Pizza. I think that's what it was called. Up in Blue Mountain before they had a fire. And I think, I think they're still there. I think they repaired um, the building. Okay, so this is our pizza crust. I could be all fancy and make the edges of our pizza crust here. I don't know if that looks better or worse, but hey. Okay, so this is our pizza crust and then we've got to decide what kind of toppings we want on it. So you could actually put on your, actually, you know what, we'll make this the sauce. So on this one, I'm going to have um, some red sauce because I really like to 
tomato sauce. Um, I think that's red. Kind of hard to tell in my lighting here. So this is the sauce. My nice tomato sauce, but you could put pesto on yours or you could put whatever you want on yours. And then we will do the rhythm part. <clears throat> And because it's sauce, it can kind of look, doesn't have to be perfect, right? I'm just going to make that a little bit saucier. There we go. That looks pretty saucy. <laughs> Great. Okay. So I've got my sauce on here. I'm also going to put on, let's see if I can find a good color for these. Um, I like pepperoni on my pizza. I don't know about you, so I'm gonna draw some pepperoni. There we go, some pepperoni. <clears throat> Couple more. I have that I am a pizza song in my head. I am a pizza. There we go. Okay, some pepperoni. Um, I am a big fan of cheese, so let's see here. I will put on some cheese. Doesn't have to be perfect. Some cheese. We're kind of layered so we can see the layers underneath. We've got some cheese. We have our sauce underneath, we have our, our uh, pepperoni, and uh, I think that's good. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so we've got our crust and we've got our topping. So here's what we're going to do next, okay? So in music, we use a pizza to describe what our rhythms uh, values are, okay? So <clears throat> on the crust, because the whole pizza is like a whole note, okay? So a whole note looks like this, okay? And a whole note is worth four beats, okay? So I'm just gonna put here, whole note, and it is equal to four beats. So the whole pizza is four beats, okay? Now, we're gonna take this pizza here, this part of our pizza, and we're going to fold it in half. Okay, see how I'm doing that? So now I have a line down the middle, and I'm going to cut that line down the middle. <clears throat> So now I have a half of the pizza here and a half of the pizza here. So this half of the pizza, if we were to cut four, if it, this is worth four beats, and we were to cut the pizza in half, how many would each half be worth? Two plus two equals four. So on this side, I'm gonna put a note that equals two beats, and that is the half note, so half note, and that equals two beats, okay? On this side, I'm actually going to cut this in half again. So if we cut two into 
half, what will each side be worth? What will each quarter be worth? Okay, so this is worth two and this together is worth two. Okay, the whole thing is worth four, but if I cut this half in half, each of these pieces will be worth one beat, okay? So each of these pieces is called a quarter, and that's like our quarter note, okay? And a quarter note, oopsies, is worth one beat. Okay, so now we have, I'm gonna draw one on here too, but now we have our rhythm pizza. Quarter note equal to one beat. Okay, so now we have our rhythm pizza here. So the whole pizza is worth four beats. Okay, you see that there? The whole pizza is worth four beats. Half a pizza, like the half note is worth two beats and a quarter of the pizza, like the quarter note is worth one beat. And now you have your rhythm pizza. Awesome. Okay, friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Let's do our solfege scale and uh, sing our goodbye song. Do, re, me, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Have a great day.